All right, welcome to the video. The first cam we're actually shooting is the square cam. Now, this this spot works pretty well unless somebody is either peeking from stock trading room from either of the two windows or from the door itself. But you'll want to line up with the third uh, line going east to west. Put yourself right in the center there as well. And then when you peek over, make sure that you're not leaning when you do this. Just line yourself up. I like to ping it because as soon as that ping goes away, you get that little arrow there. Aim into the corner, lean, and then readjust into the corner. And try and aim for the bottom part of the uh, panel there, that barricade panel. Try and aim for that bottom half of that barricade panel. Because but also make sure that you're really hugging that left side. You should be able to shoot the cam pretty easily from here. I rank this about a 2 out of 5. It's pretty easy to set up. If you end up leaning um, as you're setting it up, you can't hit the cam. And just in case, as you saw like I did, I missed that first shot. And that first shot, if you don't have someone like Glass or Callie that can just completely break the barricade, it makes it a little bit difficult to see. So I'm going to reline it up again. Line up in that third spot. You don't really have to ping it every time. And then lean. As you can see, I didn't ping it, so it was hard to see. If I'm leaning, it also makes it very difficult, so make sure, like I said again, be neutral with your leaning. The second spot we're going to shoot the square cam from actually protects you if they're trying to peek from staff room. And it also keeps it so that if they're trying to keep you from peeking from that top balk up there, you can get away with it as well. So we're going to line ourselves up actually with that envelope thing over there. Now, the hope is that if somebody is in staff room, you have a teammate over here in blue to cover you. And the only reason they're not going to shoot it is because if they go through, they lose that angle in case someone peeks from staff, as well as if someone's actually peeking from that top balcony. It gives them very open to fire. So the first setup, we're going to actually want to come in here from archives and line ourselves up at the left edge there of that envelope thing. And then when you look on the ground, you're going to want to line, line, want to line yourself up with the line that separates the two sections of marble. Aim as far up as you can. It'll automatically lock you into that far up top position. And then just aim, lean to the right, and then pop the cam. As you can see though, we actually end up missing the cam. And then you'll see that I actually checked. I was not lined up, I was lined up at the door. So make sure you don't line up at the door. Line up right there. Pop. Up, peak. Now, if you don't peek to the right, you'll actually end up shooting that um, beam right there on the left, so make sure you do lean to the right. I give this a 1 out of 5. It's probably the easiest one to set up, especially since you were so close to it. Just make sure that you're not leaning while setting it up. Otherwise, it again, you shoot the beam and you aim too high. Now for the next cam setup, we're actually going to try and shoot the lobby cam. I'm going to keep that right window from breaking because we're not trying to have the window be broken as we're trying to do this. It makes you very vulnerable to fire in case somebody is trying to peek this window. So what you're going to want to do is line yourself up with these center bolts or center screws in this panel here. And then you're going to want to ping the wall uh, as pretty much as dead straight as you can. That's just another view of what the screw looks like. Ping the wall. Try and line yourself up right on that 12 meter. As soon as it switches to 12, put yourself on that. And then you're not going to want to lean. Do not lean. And you want to aim right into the corner on the bottom half of that panel. As you can see where the break starts, try and stay on that bottom half. That top half is bad. Just aim over and fire at the cam. Don't hug the wall too far, otherwise you'll end up missing a little bit left. You can also line up, there is a dot that ends up being on top of the frame there. As long as you line it, you can also line yourself up with that dot on the top of the frame. I give the spot a 2 out of 5. It's pretty easy to set up, plus you can just shoot through the barricade a little bit if you needed to. The whole point of most of these strategies, though, is that you remain pretty quiet when you're doing it and pretty much out of harm's way. The next cam we're shooting at is actually the open area cam and the metal detector cam. So the first angle we're going to actually use is from the stairs. Now this is really if they're not playing in basement. If they're playing in basement, it's a bit dangerous to take your eyes off of those two doors and then try and peek this. I give this a 1 out of 5. It's just a visual detection thing. You can line up the railing with the edge of the wall and then just keep peeking up until you can actually see the cam. 
for the next way to shoot the open area cam, we're actually going to sit in tellers. Now I'm going to ping just a little bit right of the cam so we don't actually end up shooting the cam, but you're going to want to lean left and then hug the edge of this picture frame if this picture frame is here. You can also kind of shoot at that white vertical line there. And then go just underneath that horizontal line. It's kind of an arbitrary distance if you don't really know what it is, but you can kind of aim into the center of the painting. As you'll see, I took quite a few pot shots just trying to hit that ping, which ended up being pretty much right on. So that's how you line that one up. You don't have any visual way to tell if you're even aiming near the cam, really. It's just kind of if this painting is here. There is a little mark on the back of the wall if the painting isn't there that you can try and line up, but I find that one a little more difficult, kind of a 3 out of 5. So this spot is a 2 out of 5. For the last cam spot, we are outside, trying to still shoot in that open area cam. We are repelled on the far right window. Um, make sure you're on the left side of the far right window section. And then you're going to want to aim until you can just barely see her hair and her collar. It'll show up as white. And then that white horizontal line, you'll want to aim just below that. And then you can pop the cam. Make sure that you... Um, set up either the color on the top or the Bartlett University shield on the diploma. Um, depending on how the glass falls on the frame, if the glass is broken on the frame, it makes it really difficult to actually line this cam up. I recommend having a drone here so that you can just ping the cam and shoot it through the wall because if you don't, this is, gets really difficult, as in 5 out of 5 difficult. I've tried this 7 or 8 times beforehand and I could not shoot this cam. This is the rankings for each cam shot spot. We have a 2 out of 5 for Terrace, a 1 out of 5 for Underneath Square, a 2 out of 5 for when we're on Garage Roof, a 1 out of 5 for the basement slash first floor main stairs or white stairs, a uh, 2 out of 5 for that Teller's office spot with the painting, and then a 5 out of 5 when we are repelling on the west side of the bank. Now, like I said, with that repel, it is very difficult for me to get. I would highly suggest you just have a drone so that you can ping the cam and then shoot the cam through the wall. If you don't have that, you can use the lineup technique with those lines and the paintings. But that's it for the today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And next up is Border.